My paint teacher made an analogy once of learning to play the piano. At first you learn the keys and the scales and the notes, and then you learn to play music. And then the better you get, you start to learn improv. You can play just by knowing. You just feel and you can play something. And painting is the same way. At first you learn each color and what it can do. And then the better you get, you just start grabbing color and going. One day, I stand in this field painting, and this idea came to me of uh, trying to do a painting a day, every day, for a year. And I thought, wow, you know, my teacher always said, how do, you know, the way to improve is you got to paint, paint, paint. And I thought, that's the way to do it. I'm going to do a painting a day, every day, for a year, and see what kind of a painter I can become. Well, that led into doing five and a half years of plain air painting. 2014 consecutive days in a row. For the last 25 plus years, I've been a painter, illustrator. Um, but since 2009, I've been working on my biggest project to date. I call it Plain Air 365. Uh, plein air is a French word uh, which means painting outside on location. And the style of plein air that I do is called a la prima. And a la prima means in a single sitting. One of the things that, that makes the show unique is, uh, as far as we can tell, it's the world's largest one-man show. He has this discipline about him that to be able to do <laughs> A painting every day for five years um, is just something that only Ted could do. Not only are the, the paintings absolutely everywhere, they're, they're categorized from beginning to end, from um, when he started to where he's at now. My husband loves mining towns. I walked around here, I saw so many things that I absolutely loved and I have bought art here. And I'm very enthusiastic about Ted and his art. We heard about it through word of mouth and we came and, and had a look at everything and decided that we would come back um, after we narrowed it down to a few pieces that we wanted. And you start at the very beginning, the first day, painting the last day after five years. It is just really inspiring. I think art should be spontaneous sometimes, and, and that's the cool part about the plein air. I said I'm a collector, have a private collection. I'm going to add a couple of pieces of Ted that I've seen this evening. It's just the life. It's very refreshing. It's definitely a gym that people should come to.